So in this video, we talk about input, output, and storage system. So uh, we know that data storage and retrieval is one of the uh, primary functions of the computer system. Um, uh, one could easily make an uh, argument that computers are most uh, useful, uh, useful for us as a data storage and retrieval devices than the, uh, they are as a uh, computational machine, actually. However, we can see that um, we can only take the uh, whole benefit if we can uh, interact with the outside world through the uh, uh, input-output system. Um, so, uh, in fact, all computers have the uh, uh, I.O. devices connected to them and to achieve a good performance, the I.O. Uh, system should be uh, kept to a, a minimum. Uh, in studying I.O., we uh, seek to understand the different types of I.O. devices and as well as how they work okay? uh, in uh, uh, individual also as a whole uh, when uh, they are integrated to the system. Um, so sluggish uh, I/O throughput can have a ripple effect um, and dragging down the overall system performance, and this especially to when the uh, virtual memory is involved, as we discussed in the previous uh, lecture. Um, the uh, uh, in fact the fastest uh, processor in the world is uh, of little use if it it's, uh, spend most of the time uh, waiting for the data from the uh, other component. Um, so if we really understand what's happening in a computer system, we can make the best possible use of its resources. Uh, so the question, how can we uh, quantify the overall performance of a system? Uh, so under law uh, uh, is uh, one of the uh, way allow us to do that. Um, so. Um, the the under law is just, uh, uh, basically a uh, uh, a. Uh, equation uh, to measure performance and, uh, of the system and uh, basically it's uh, saying that um, the, the performance system not only a um, the overall performance system uh, basically a result of the interaction of all of its components instead of a, uh, a single component of the system um, and uh, based on the the law, uh, we can see that uh, system performance is most uh, effectively improved when the performance is the most heavily used component is improved. And uh, and the the uh, the equation of the under law uh, is uh, specified as follows: We have the S that the overall speed up of the system equal to one over. 1 minus f plus f over uh, divided by k, okay? So where f is the fraction of the work performed by a, um, a, a component, you replace the existing, existing one, and k is the speed up of the uh, component you uh, replace for the uh, existing one. Okay, so uh, basically that the uh, that the equation we use to uh, measure or quantify the overall performance of a system if we uh, think if we uh, try to replace or upgrade a uh, component in a system. So uh, let's consider an example uh, using the uh, under law uh, uh, before. So. Basically, we uh, consider a system, um, and suppose we have the two options to upgrade the system. The first one is that uh, we can upgrade a, a CPU to make a 50% faster, and the cost for upgrading the CPU is $10,000. Okay? Uh, the second option is that we can upgrade a disk drive uh, for a $7,000, and um, that that with that the this drive upgrade we can increase the performance a uh, 100 uh, 100 uh, and 50 percent plus uh, percent faster than the uh, old uh, drive okay so we have the two options with different costs and different uh, performance uh, um, improvement of that component okay so uh, which option we should use to upgrade the system um, so uh, 
in order to determine which option is going to be better one, uh, we need some additional information and uh, that going to be the, uh, what is the uh, percentage of the time we, uh, the, the work is going to be used on different components. So uh, assume in our case we have the processors uh, spend 70% uh, of their time running on the CPU and 30% of their uh, time waiting for the disk uh, service. Okay, so that's the additional information we need to use in order to de determine which option is going to be the better one. Um, so uh, so um, we can, um, using that information to determine uh, which option is going to be better by using the under law. So basically for the first option, uh, by upgrading the processor, um, we can see that the overall uh, speed up S equal to 1 over 1 minus uh, uh, 0 0.7 that the um, that that the uh, value f right here uh, corresponding to the uh, fraction of the work performance on the cpu and also plus with the f divided by k so k basically 1.5 because the cpu uh, the new cpu increased a 50 percent so uh, we can see that the speed up gonna be a uh, uh, 1.5 okay so uh, by putting together, we can see that uh, actually as in uh, the case, if we upgrade the uh, processor, it's going to increase the 30% of the, uh, 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 compared with the existing system. Now for the second option, if we uh, uh, upgrade the disk drive, and um, uh, we can have that F equal to 0 0.3, so that uh, represents the uh, fraction of the time of work performance on the uh, disk drive. And also we have the K equal to uh, 2.5 because when we uh, upgrade the disk drive, the, uh, uh, the, the performance is going to increase a, uh, for accessing the disk going to be a 150% compared with the existing disk drive. So uh, by substitute the all the uh, parameter right here to the uh, uh, under law equation, we can see that in the disk drive we can um, actually gain uh, have the gain of the speed up uh, gain going to equal to twenty two percent. Okay. So um, because they have a different uh, um, cost for upgrading the processor and also the disk drive, so we can uh, see. What if a 1% uh, of the improvement for the processor and also for the disk drive cost? So basically, you have the 30% and that's a 10,000 for the processor upgrading. Um, so that's going to cost a $333 for 1% uh, improvement of the whole system. On the other hand, for the disk uh, drive upgrade, we have the cost of 22%. Um, and the cost of a uh, seven thousand dollars. So that one percent improvement cost a three hundred and eighteen dollars. So from this one, you can see that uh, which scheme uh, gonna be a better option for us to upgrade the system, right? So I hope everyone have the same answer. That gonna be a the uh, deep dry upgrade. Uh, should be a better option because the same 1% improvement but the cost much less compared with the uh, processor upgrade.